Hello and welcome. Our topic for the day is subtracting fractions with different denominators. To understand the concept, let's look at some questions. The first one says negative 3 sevenths minus 1 fifth. So let's write down negative 3 sevenths minus 1 fifth. Our main aim is to make the denominators same. Once the denominators are same, then it becomes very easy to solve. Let's see how we can do this. We write the first fraction as it is. Multiply and divide the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction, that is 5 in this case, minus second fraction as it is. Multiply and divide the second fraction with the denominator of the first one, that is 7 in this case. Let's do a multiplication now. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 divided by 35 minus 1 times 7 is 7 divided by 35. So now the denominators are common, so we write as it is, 35. On the numerator we have negative 15 minus 7. Negative 15 minus 7, that is 2 negative numbers, will be added, that is 22, with a negative sign divided by 35. So this is the final answer and can be seen in option C. Let's look at the next question. Solve 3 twelfths minus 2 tenths. Now the rule remains the same. We have to make the denominator same. We do that by multiplying the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. That is 10 minus 2 tenths as it is. Multiply and divide the second fraction with the denominator of the first. That is 12. 3 times 10 is 30. 12 times 10 is 120 minus 24 divided by 120. Now we have the same denominator, so 120, 30 minus 24, which is equals to 6 divided by 120. Now we see that both the numbers are even, can be divided by 2, so this is 3 and this is 6 and 0. Again, the numerator and denominator both can be divided by 3. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 20. So 1 by 20 is the final answer and can be seen in option B. Let's look at the next question. Solve 1 25th minus 5 twelfths. Now here, by now we are very clear. The first fraction multiplied and divided by the denominator of the second fraction minus the second fraction as it is multiplied and divided by the denominator of the first fraction. So 12 times 1 is 12, 25 times 12 is 300 minus 25 times 5 is 125 and the denominator is 300. Now we have similar denominators so 300 on the numerator we have 12 minus 125 which is equals to negative 113 by 300. So this is the final answer which cannot be reduced further. So we stay here as it is and option A is the correct answer. I hope subtracting fractions with different denominators is easy now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.